The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. The Kirsten Newman baseball position previews roll along with a look at the infield here with senior infielder Micah Jenner. I'm Michael Watrang for the Eagle Sports Network. And Micah, before we start looking at this season, let's go back to last year. You started the first 16 games of the year, then had to shut it down with uh, an injury. What has the last nine or so months been like for you as you try to get prepared for baseball season again? Uh, it's been mainly focusing on strengthening my back, uh, just strengthening it and making sure something like that doesn't happen again. When you look at how last year ended and just getting the 25 games in, certainly felt like there was a lot of time left for you guys to, to make a dent and make a mark on the season. What's the motivation level like for this group entering the year? Oh, it's huge. We have a lot of older guys, and uh, we just kind of look back at how the seniors last year, you know, it got taken from them without them even really getting a chance to kind of end it for themselves. So uh, just being able to see that will kind of help us and make sure that we push ourselves because we never know when it's going to end. Let's chat a little bit about your progression here over the last few years. You made the decision to stop being a switch hitter, to just go from the right-hand side of the plate, and it's worked pretty well. 268 batting average, you hit your first home run last year against the number one team in the country. Where do you feel like you're at right now in your progression? Uh, it's come a long way. Uh, switching to just being right-handed has helped a lot. Being able to just focus on one swing has really helped, and then being able to see kind of more pitches, more collegiate pitches has really helped progress. When you look at the infield as a whole, obviously it seems like shortstop's pretty cod lock for you. That's 109 starts now for you uh, in your time. Zach Bowes at third base. Uh, he didn't get the full freshman year to really get an opportunity to continue his progression, but he looked really good when he was out there. What's it mean to have a consistent player next to you again at third base? Uh, it's huge. We've had a huge connection. We've talked all break, just the whole summer. We're good friends. So we uh, just having that, the connection, we know each other's range, everything. So we were able to communicate and stuff like that really helps. When you look at the opposite side of the infield, that's where you guys do lose a, a few pieces to the puzzle. Mike Roth was a big DH, but also played first base. Malik Kyle was over there. Mark Treadway was at second base. When you look at that group, how much will this team miss those guys, not necessarily from a production perspective, but just from their experiences? Them being older guys really helped us last year. Uh, luckily, we have Killian Daughtry, who's been here four years, been able to play a bunch. He, He's going to help us out and maintain that side over there. And then uh, at second, we have Andrew Carpenter, who's new, but he's a veteran as well. He's from Morristown, so he kind of knows the area. But uh, having two years at Cleveland State has really helped him too. And then we have Bryce Hanley, who was able to step up for me last year, have him at second. That's, that's huge. So people that have been able to play will be able to kind of fill in that hole. You mentioned the fact that uh, the seniors had it taken away from them last year. Well, when you look at this year's schedule, there's 39 games on it, but we've learned from the other sports that have happened so far this year that things can change in a flash. And you might not get the full 39 in, or you might have weeks taken away from you because of COVID restrictions and stuff like that. When you get ready for this season, what's a big goal that this team wants to accomplish? We have done everything we can to make sure we, on our end, can get all 39 in. Whether it's us staying healthy, we're making sure we social distance, and in any way, shape, or form, we're making sure that we're prepared. Because just like you said, it could be changed in any minute, but we want to make sure that we give ourselves the best possible uh, chance to play all 39. Final question, and then we'll let you get out of here. Uh, you're now a senior on this roster. This is your fourth year in the program. You've been a three-year starter prior to this. How have you tried to grow your leadership skills? That's been the biggest thing that Coach Griff has wanted me to work on since I was a freshman. I wasn't very vocal when I was a freshman, but being able to kind of take charge and uh, just kind of work on leadership. And now during certain things, I'll help run stuff. So uh, just to kind of like push the team and kind of prepare us uh, so I can take charge when I need to. Me and Killian both have been working really hard at that. Micah, thanks for the time. Best of luck this season. Thank you. That's Micah Jenner. I'm Micah Watchring here for the Eagle Sports Network.